mobile web app that also looks good on a desktop browser. Do you have a favorite website on your desktop? I love Slate. I like Doonesbury, The Explainer, Conversations with Slate, Fighting Words by the late Christopher Hitchens. I think Emily Yoff is a wise woman, not that I read Dear Prudence, at least not often. Slate isn't great on my Blackberry. Maybe fortunately, so that I don't spend lots of time on it. Slate leaves a lot to be desired on a mobile web browser. But those mobile quick minutes that the Crackberry was designed to fill seem to be a perfect time to read Slate. It's ridiculously easy to use CSS3 jQuery Mobile to fix this. Not for Slate, but while preparing to teach an e-commerce course, I made this demo site. Probably as an example of a site that looks fantastic on both mobile and desktop browsers, but it illustrates the principles nicely in very little code. Let's start by finding the correct download for jQuery Mobile. So, <clears throat> while I was working on this at one point, the little arrows next to my services turned into black dots. I discovered that it was because jQuery Mobile needs images as well as CSS to work properly. Let's start by seeing the right place to get the complete thing, which I put in, in slash includes. So it's this one. Um, This one here um, that you need to include. So <clears throat> let's start by looking at the HTML file. Okay, this is just a standard jQuery mobile HTML file. You'll notice that when I download my jQuery mobile too, so you can see it's in um, includes slash um, jQuery mobile dash 1.1.1. You can also see um, the dot type and the meta um, name equals viewport tags. Um, and you can see the page structure of the document in here. And I also did um, sort of a standard little thing where I built the, um, for the contact page. Whoops. Ah. Being a bit slow. Yeah, so here I've got a this kind of standard JavaScript thing where I build up the, the mail to the mail to, to link. So if we look at the CSS file, this media thing is key. So you notice the um, media divides it into three pieces. I have um, min width of 800. Max width at 799 and min width 321. So the first section, the min width of 800 is for, for desktops and um, devices that are wide. Second section is for um, devices that are more than um, 320 pixels but less than 800. And then the third section is for um, mobile devices that are um, 320 pixels or less. So the first thing that I did then was I used the um, width to move to two columns. So you'll see that my um, when we look at my site on um, the desktop, it's in two columns. And when I look at my site, whoops, when I look at my site in um, the browser, it's in, it's in one column. So I've got CSS here um, to make a left and a right Column. So I've got a left and a right div with a class, and um, that's how I've got this uh, two columns in here. And then notice I don't have the two columns in the other uh, in the mobile in the mobile context. Um, so th the one thing about this is that the right column um, needs to be longer than the left column for this to work, um, just because of the way that the um, the way that the CSS is. Otherwise this um, floats up and um, doesn't appear in the right pa place in the page. The other interesting thing that you'll notice is that the um, when we look at my uh, mobile app 
I just have two menu items here, vlog and contact. But when I look at my uh, uh, desktop app, um, I have uh, home, vlog, and contact. So the way that I did that was I put the alternative content in a div. And you'll see that an example that here, where um, I have the nav bar. And um, I've got a class of h standard for it. And then I have the nav bar with a class of h, h tiny. So then what I'm doing then in the CSS here is um, for the, the small one, um, I'm not so max with 320 pixels and not displaying the H standard I'm just displaying the H tiny in, um, in block so um, that's really powerful because you can use that then to um, have multiple alternatives um, for a big complicated screen on your desktop possibly and um, strip away some things that you don't want to show on a, on a browser so it took me a lot longer than uh, this to get all this together, but um, I thought I'd capture these simple techniques uh, to single source your mobile and your desktop websites. Thank you.